In today's video, we'll check out the MaxFree 2 Tri-Screen Portable Monitor. This useful device will allow you to easily add two additional displays to your laptop's monitor for a total of three. It's easy to set up and is small enough to pack in your laptop bag. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. I would like to thank MaxFree for sending the T2 Triple Portable Laptop Monitor for review. This device can be used with Windows or Macs and supports laptop displays from 13.3 inches to 16.5 inches. Both displays are 1080p HD 60Hz and conveniently fold up for easy storage in your laptop bag. The displays weigh only 3.7 pounds and make it easy to take with you while on the go. The package includes two 90-degree USB-C to USB-C cables, while typically only one is needed. The second is used to supply extra power if your laptop isn't able to provide the 5 volts, 2 amps that are needed. There is also a USB-C to dual USB Type-A adapter if your laptop doesn't support a USB-C connection. The documentation is very well done and explains the various setup scenarios clearly. A very nice protective case is included that has a convenient handle. The case protects the display well and is held together with Velcro. Each of the displays simply fold out on the left and right side, and there is a built-in kickstand with a rubber tip to provide support at the back of the unit. The kickstand can be easily extended or retracted and locks into the back of the panel. There is a built-in microSD slot and card that contains the drivers and will auto-install, at least it did during my testing in Windows 11. There is a Type-C port and power for data, as well as dedicated PD or power delivery port if your laptop isn't able to supply enough power. Of the two laptops I tested, both only needed a single USB-C cable. To apply the displays to your laptop, there is a button that is spring-loaded that extends the device to allow easy attachment. As mentioned, there are three different cables included. If your laptop has a USB-C port and can supply 5 volts, 2 amps of power, which most can, you only need the one USB-C cable. However, if not, you can use the second USB-C cable and the power supply to power the displays. Additionally, if your laptop doesn't have a USB-C port, you can also use the two USB-A to USB-C adapter cable to also run the displays. Setting up the two displays is very easy. We'll check it out without the laptop first. Just slide each of the two displays outwards. Then, on the back of the T2, you'll find a kickstand. The kickstand is used to provide additional support and stability. To extend it, you just twist the rubber foot and extend it to the desired length and twist it again to stabilize. It can also easily be folded up and stored away when done. The inside area has soft rubber padding to better grip the laptop display and keep it from scratching the sides. Now let's hook it up to a laptop. This is a new machine that I purchased recently that will eventually become my primary laptop. Just open the screen, press the top middle lock switch button that is spring loaded to extend the T2, position it over the back of the laptop display and close in on the two sides. Then simply fold out each of the displays to the desired position. Then extend the kickstand as we discussed earlier. To make it easier to see, I'll bring the displays down and connect the 90 degree USB-C cable on the far right port. Then plug in the other end of the USB-C cable into the laptop. At this point, if the drivers weren't previously installed, give it just a few seconds and they should be automatically installed. The displays will power up and become available in Windows. In this case, I'm running Windows 11. You may need to arrange the displays in Windows. To do that, right-click on the desktop and select Display Settings. You'll then want to drag the left display to the left, the right display to the right, and the laptop display in the middle and apply the settings. At that point, everything should be all set up and ready to go. Here I've opened the Chrome browser and can easily move the window from display to display. The drivers are automatically installed from the micro SD card in the T2. To demonstrate, I copied the drivers to the laptop's internal SSD and uninstalled them manually. 
The external displays briefly cut off and were automatically reinstalled and came back on. If you want to turn the external displays off, you can just press the far right button and both displays will then turn off. To turn them on again, just press the button again. You can also press the right or left arrow buttons to bring up the on-screen settings for either of the two displays. There you can adjust the brightness, contrast, color temperature, and several other customizations. Obviously, you can use the additional two displays for productivity applications, web browsing, email, each on separate screens. It's very convenient. Another possible use case is to use it in a kiosk mode by bringing the two displays into a triangle shape at the back of the laptop. This could be used for conventions, tax preparation, insurance adjusters, or many other possible uses. Of course, since we cover a lot of gaming and pinball-related topics on this channel, I had to try it out with Pinball FX as well. Well, that brings us to the end of another video. The MaxFree T2 Triple Portable Monitor is pretty great. I'll be bringing it with me on an upcoming trip to Chicago. I did test it on two different laptops and it worked out very well. The displays are a little dimmer than the laptop display, but can be adjusted in the settings to more accurately match the laptop's display. It would be nice if both displays could bend in just a little bit more forward than they do, but it really wasn't a problem at all. The convenience of having three screens on a laptop can't be understated for gamers, software developers, office applications, or pretty much anyone who just wants more screen real estate while on the go. It's super easy to connect your laptop and only takes about a minute. What do you think of the MaxFree T2 Triple Portable Monitor? Comment below and let me know if you have one already or if you're thinking about getting one. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please let me know by clicking the like button. If you want to see more content like this in the future, please click the subscribe. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.